new perspective on Utopian Ray, who's been going the Rosalina and Luma these past couple weeks Ooh, okay. and doing a bang up job with it. Certainly not a character we see very often. Also coming up against over 9000's Mega Man. Also not a character you see too often uh, nowadays. So, I mean, obviously I think something that could be huge in this matchup is that uh, gravitational pull that Rosalina has. Gonna be good at neutralizing, but <laughs> Utopian Ray doesn't seem to need any help neutralizing uh, these down airs, just narrowing through. That's like three down airs that Utopian Ray has just neutral air through. And down air with the Luma coming out, but I think you're exactly right, uh, FAV. The gravitational pull is such a force to be reckoned with, but Ray acknowledges that uh, some of some of Rosalina's uh, moves, and thanks to Luma, are just heavy and, and naturally active, able to clank with a lot of uh, these pressured down airs that OVA has been going for. Oh, choosing to stall a little Ooh, bit nice. to get back for Luma, knowing that Mega Man's slower run speed is going to make it hard to traverse any amount of space. And there's Luna coming back with the up tilt. Not going to take the stop thanks to the high uh, ceiling of Battlefield. This back throw won't do it either. Got to be careful with your DI, though. All right. Great catch by Utopian Ray. Catching the uh, the double jump after the after Rush. Making sure over 9,000 can't get back. 81%. <laughs> Luma said, get down, Miss President. <laughs> Luma, unfortunately, gone, though, putting in plenty of work. That's going to be a punish there on the down smash. Yeah, I've been seeing those down smashes more and more from uh, from OVA, and I don't hate them, but it's still a massively committal move, and the reward, the fact the fact that it hits a little bit lower now means it can two frames, but not much else. That up tilt was absolutely nice, though, able to keep themselves safe while applying a lot of pressure, though missing the roll is unfortunate. Great challenge from Utopian Ray. Once more, stuffing out the potential of a down air. We're looking for a lemon into grab and a smash is gonna get Utopian oh. Ray the grab. But I like the uh, drift away there by over 9,000 uh, going outside of Utopian Ray's uh, down air. Yeah, she's trying to set up a cheeky trap with some of this grab. Waits, the forward air comes through and Rosalina doesn't have the weight to survive that. The Luma back air is able to punish so, get power straight through so much of those items, getting a grab and another grab release attempt though haven't been able to find any uh, truly definitive off it. But the ledge play is still immaculate. U Utopian Ray looking to try and get something set, playing this center stage as they should. It, it was somewhat unfortunate for Over 9000. When Utopian Ray came down from the Angel platform, uh, Over 9000 tried to set up the Crash Bomber, because, you know, that's something you can do on invincible players. But it was just stopped by the Luma, completely negating it. Okay, look at how over 9K is utilizing some of uh, Utopian Ray's native ideas with Rosalina. You're thinking he wants up smash, he wants these out of shield uh, plays. Instead, I'm gonna double jump away. I'm gonna set up Rush Coil and get behind it. I'm gonna try and stay out of that offensive threat range and slowly but surely the damage is racking up, especially with all of this rage on deck and a missed no tech. tech. That is OVA taking the lead. All of the sudden, dropping it, imme yeah, <laughs> dropping it immediately. Dropping it immediately. Drop from Halo back air does close out the stop, but what an amazing work he put in right at the end of, of that second stock and give him a chance at the at, at the ability to win this game. Oof, okay, Ooh, just walking in and grabbing. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> 54 now, gotta be careful of that pivot grab. Holy, Ray is playing this advantage as they should, using uh, utilizing the platform as a roof while they try and set up and catch the landings of over 9K. Using that double jump, but not able to get through. Oh, a low air dodge is gonna give over 9,000 the perfect opportunity for a down air. That was so well thought by OBA. You're putting out a spot here, the explosion comes out, but whiffing. A couple, a couple key threats got Utopian Ray scared at the very end. They did have their double jump, I believe, but you saw the explosion getting hit by some early hits of back air. Like it was, it was a lot going on. So Ray tried to decide to take the deep, the hard defensive approach, 
and OVA took their chance. And you mm -hmm. cannot be mad at that in any stretch of the imagination because that was an amazing call, uh, amazing call from OVA to, to actually do in a high-pressure scenario like that. Absolutely. And it looks like we are going to be going back right back to Battlefield for this Game 2, which I absolutely agree with. Such a good stage for Rosalina. She gets so much off of these platforms. And honestly, it's a really good stage for Ray. I see them counterpick here all the time. Their preferences of characters and playstyle always is favoring the tri plant layout as a means of defense, whether it be the Palutena, the Banjo, the Rob, or now the Rosalina going back to their roots and looking to try and keep those roots ingrained, looking to get into the winner's side of top 24 and retake their place. Still having Ooh. to do, ooh, yeah, having to go through OVA straight through back to center thanks to the launch star. They weren't expecting that, and they weren't expecting the up smash to get beat out or to beat out the leaf shield as this gets relatively more and more even. The back air call out on the jump. Can OVA close out the edge guard? Yes, such, they can. Such a good call out on the gravitational pull. Utopian Ray has actually been pulling that out a lot. Every time Over 9000 has set up for the metal blade. No. Okay. <laughs> Tried for the air shooter yeah. for extra damage. I respect it. And no dice though. And at 32 to zero, we're expecting that full that full screen neutral to slowly get whittled down, depending on the preference of both sides. Oh, the back air into the grab. Unable right. to threaten anywhere but some of this horizontal space thanks to thanks to these tilts. Not wanting to pull the trigger too much on up tilts and up smashes that they know OVA has been playing around with a greater sense of urgency. Percents are starting to even up. The grab comes through. Can they get this stock double down air, but no dice? I like how Utopian Ray has been opting to recover high uh, recently. Because, uh, I mean, especially like you mentioned before, Mega Man does not have quite the burst range to catch center stage when he's looking for a ledge trap. Yeah, what are you going to do, dash attack as Mega Man? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm going to throw the slowest crash bomber in the world. I mean, I have been seeing OVA do a lot more flexibility and just the leaf shield cancel, getting the grab off of it. That's that Mega Man stuff that more and more players are starting to adapt into their game plan. Rush coil cancels, leaf shield cancels, mixing up just how many items you have on deck at any given time, though Utopian Ray always has that up smash ready and raring to go. Mm -hmm. All right, Luma off deck now in a uppercut to take Utopian Ray's second stock. Over 9,000 keeping this competitive. Great get up attack to get Utopian Ray off. All right. Right. We, are, all, yeah, all we are projectiles. throwing the metal blade. We're trying to keep Ray off this spot or put them into gravitational pull. Either way, it keeps Utopian Ray from moving and it gives the OVA a chance to start whittling down as there goes Luma. The health actually running out instead of just being knocked off the stage completely. Charge shot down, looking for a down air, but the auto cancel keeps them safe. Yeah, I really like how Over 9000 has been taking the time to bully Luma in that uh in those last couple of interactions Good. uh taking the time to slide in the other direction oh has to make it back now wow using all of their resources all at once in order to get back and surprisingly it does work ray not able to find a punish despite putting on some pretty strong corner pressure and ova forces them back into center time and time again and trying to keep ray in their comfort zone because it gives them more range of movement Playing this corner so well is OVA. All right, getting put back off stage again. Utopian Ray looked for the downer, but found the up smash instead. And that's so tricky, right? Because OVA had, for multiple times over, been committed to some jumps early. And whether it be using all of his resources by ledge drop rush coil, covering ledge and this jump, this exact scenario, I feel like I watched it play out time and time again. Just OVA finding a spot on oh, hello there. Finding a spot on ledge and deciding I wanna jump, I wanna get into the air, and I wanna use my metal blade, I wanna use my leaf uh, my leaf shield, I wanna do it all here, and Ray finds the up smash in turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we're taking it right back to battlefield again. Uh three games right here. 
Yeah, like, it doesn't seem like either of them have really hated just what Battlefield offers, especially since OVA has found a new way, uh, more and more ways to utilize the corners of these platforms to great effect. Top platform hasn't really been on the table all that much, given the juggling uh, scenarios and uh, strength of both characters. But as long as OVA keeps it horizontal, you keep Luma in front of you, and you give yourself access to all of Mega Man's uh, amazing tools like Charge Shot, Leaf, Blade, uh, Leaf Shield, and Metal Blade. All right. All, right. all right, Luma back on deck now. Great, I think there was a drag down back air into grab, and another high recovery from Utopian Ray. Keeping things safe, getting right back into center stage. Oh, Luma, Luma. <laughs> Luma takes the hit off the roll, trying to recenter in front of Rosalina, and sometimes you can. The poor star is gonna take some of the wrath. <laughs> oh, using the down tilt to slide straight under. It's one of the slower slides, but it does force a low profile, and that exact interaction helps out so much. If Ray is gonna gravitational pull, don't worry. Mega Man has a full arsenal ready to come in after it. Not to mention some of these grab confirms that they do need to find a way back. Having a, the up B goes for it early. All they have is rush, and rush is enough. Still making it back. Does grab the ledge, gets the jump back, and finds his way back in. Ooh. Oh, but an up smash is gonna be taking it. Utopian Ray keeping things very even. Only 9% here on his second stock. Up smash is Ray's friend, and it will continue to be as long as Loom is on deck and as long as Rosalina is standing and waiting for OVA to roll in, which they've given up time and time again the coverage, but no tech uh, no jab block, which means OVA is able to escape just fine. Ooh, nice use of the Metal Blade there by Utopian Ray. That was displaced Luma up till into Metal Blade <laughs> up throw, but no up air off of it means the stock is still intact for OVA, and they've been able to do a lot with a little when it comes to high damage situations as this Mega Man. Oh, oh Luma goodbye, Luma. rocks. <laughs> Skull caved in. Do Lumas have bones? A, a thought for another time. <laughs> Let us know the the lore. Yeah, please give it give a shout out in the in the in the Twitch chat. Do do you think Luma Anatomy is uh, is important to learn, especially in this game, in this game three, because poor Lumas are getting bullied all over the place. But Rosalina still stands tall with a lead. Ray as their pilot, continuing to find all of these jump callouts and really pressure OVA for wanting to commit to the air. Right, only 76% on Utopian Ray, and OVA's uh, percents are climbing here on their potential last stock of winners. It's been a long, well-played set thus far, but Ray is slowly starting to pull further and further away, choosing once more to climb with a lot of these projectiles, going for a pivot Luma. down smash, but not finding it thanks to Luma and the Lunar Landing. Ray is pulling out all of those old tricks and covering themselves as well. Luma gets bullied, but again, Rosalina is perfectly fine. Rosalina is thriving. And she's out here living her best life as Blue Luma to match the dress comes out. Are, and will this be the final Luma of the game? Another dash attack. So many dash attacks later in this game. Really mirroring early on where Ray was able to find a lot of openings off of them and just kind of stopped and saved them for situations like this. Uh, more and more back airs coming through. Yep, not able to punish the gravitational pull, especially with Rosalina's great burst movement with the launch star and another Luma back. Could this, this one be the last one? Oh, we did see a dash attack. Oh, Lord. It, it clanged. Of course it did. There's the rapid jab. jab. Ooh, putting uh, 9,000 at a bad angle off stage. And another up smash is going to be taking game three for Utopian Ray, taking it 2-1. Ray found a quite literally the, gold, the golden zone, the spot where they wanted to stay at. And you know where it was? We'll see it slow down. We'll see the jump call out. It's right here. Oh. My pen is off. That's what happened, everybody. It's right. Ba, 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 ba. It's right here. God forsaken. <laughs> My pen is out of juice. Oops. Here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're we're back to the fingers. We're we're, we're going low tech, and we're we're watching it play out. We're seeing things happen. Boom! Right here. Right here. 
Alrighty, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This spot right here is so good for Ray for a multitude of reasons. One, it's native counterplay to spots like this. When you see your opponent go into the air, you're trying to ca find a nice space in where you can reliably dash in an anti air. Thing number two, the play from OVA always resulted in, especially on ledge, in scenarios where they would pop up from ledge and either land here or retreat to platform. There's two positions that this uh, that OVA would go to, one being covered by dash attack and one be and then this zone being covered by up smash. However, if you remember earlier in these situations, Ray had been going for these dash attacks over and over again in order to really hard conditioned OVA to continuously take to the air and avoid getting their landing caught. Which, if you're avoiding exactly one option in a pressure scenario like this, as Ray slowly pulls and pulls away, you leave yourself open to the final one. Very good stuff from Ray. Amazing. Wow. And from what was a like extremely close set, especially given the momentum OVA had going into game two and then through game two, but Ray found that sweet spot. Ray found that zone and the cadence to OVA's. Uh, pressure and uh, item play which kind of which assisted in their victory mm -hmm. and speaking of